Hello, I'm Lola and welcome back to this next part of the Mass Effect series. Uh, last we left off, we did the mission, we rescued the, well, met up with the ex Cerberus scientists, met Jacob, which was a surprise, uh, and now we have to go to the Citadel just to chat to everyone, basically. We need to do the, um, the shore leave, so I think we just need to recuperate and have a big old chat with everyone on the Citadel, to the Citadel and visit Admiral Anderson's apartment. Yeah, basically just a lot to do on the Citadel. Um, we've got dinner with Caden. When I logged on here, um, before I hit record, Garrus also wanted some fun time with me, trainer said. So, <laughs> lots to do. Um, oh yeah, we recovered that so we can hand it into the Citadel. Sorry, there was a little cut there. I thought I had a spider on my head then. <laughs> I was like, is there a spider? I need to check. <laughs> Back to where we were panicked then um yeah so sure leave the normandy's doctor has noted a group in the refugee camp there's military medical supplies but needs simple civilian necessities just basically a whole host of things to do i think that's somewhere else isn't it colony we'll do that later that's um a lot later could do that but again i think i'll go to the citadel first ring a balloon we also need to go to the, um, whilst I remember, the Spectre um, office, just because I think there's something there for us. Yeah, and those are the DLCs. Cool, does anyone have anything else to say before I leave? The Cerberus scientists are safe with the Alliance. The Brass thinks they'll be a big help on the Crucible. First Grissom Academy, now this. Nice work. You know how fighter pilots put those little stamp things under their cockpits for each kill? I'm thinking of getting one by the galaxy map every time I analyze the crap <laughs> out of some data. You're turning into a regular marine. Yes. Well, I guess you're rubbing off on me. Guess I, I am. <laughs> Thanks, Commander. Oh, sorry, I thought, thought you finished. Someone out alive. It does. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So these are the things. Um. We had a game night, didn't we? That was fun. I think we did that. Either way, we'll go to the Citadel first before we do anything else. I'm just walking around here just to have a chat with Joker and ED, see if they have anything to say. I might quickly do a scan of everyone just to check um, anyone has anything to say about the scientists. How's Jacob? He'll be okay. And Jacob. Glad to hear it. Nice to see those Cerberus scientists come to their senses. After everything he's done, the elusive man can't pretend he's fighting for humanity. Anyone who isn't indoctrinated has to see that by now. Glad we got out early. Edie? What's on your mind, Edie? Liara recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe, or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, a bubble, if you will in an ocean of other possibilities. Interesting perspective. Whether, if you went far enough out or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one equals three. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying math of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? Um, I'll get back just what I want for dinner, really. <laughs> just I could do with a beer. That, that's all I was thinking. Nothing is serious as that, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's a bit heavy, but <laughs> I guess that's easy for you. Commander. Oh yeah, I was going through here to check the war terminal. Um and then I'm gonna go in the lift. I am just gonna do a quick round of everyone just to check if they have anything to say on Jacob and then we'll leave for the Citadel. Okay, nothing there. That's good. Well, not good, because we need war assets, but good as in no codexes to read. I do like doing them, to be honest. It was just... Commander. I'm eager to get to the Citadel. <laughs> right, um... going to Purgatory next time we're at the Citadel. Can't wait to see how that turns out. That'll be interesting. <laughs> A lot of people... Are, we've got Jack to meet in, meet in Purgatory. And I think we have, um... A while ago didn't... What's his name? Cortez, speaking of Cortez, we'll go to the shuttle bay. Didn't he want to see us in Purgatory? I think Always so. Good to see you, Commander. 
Anything else? Hello, Commander. Nope. Oh, I guess James has moved. I should have perhaps checked the map. Might be on the Citadel? Oh, he's in the metal. Okay. Um, we'll go to engineering first and then we'll go up to James and Garrus and everyone like that. Folding chair or something. <laughs> Has Alenko had media training? He just gave me the steady stare during our interview. Oh, was he not very good at interviews? Do we need to talk, Commander? <laughs> no, carry on. Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. <laughs> Guess that's Caden for you. I was in I was like, who does she mean by Alenko? Yeah, it's Caden's surname. I forget, to be honest, sometimes. Um Jacob, we're both part of Cerberus. That is correct. And Cerberus is filled with traitors to humanity. Yes, they oppose us in this war. Then why should we trust either of you? We have severed our ties with the organization. But you were programmed by Cerberus. I can extrapolate where this is going. I have superseded my original programming and have chosen to oppose Cerberus. You mean you have chosen to oppose your creators? Correct. I find this a very troubling freedom machine. A machine? Guess not his way of life. Those humans you saved were fortunate. There are still places in the galaxy to hide. Our refugees perished. There was nowhere left to run. I trust you, Commander. When you say you no longer expedite Cerberus's goals. Otherwise... Otherwise you'd kill me? <laughs> Fair point. Uh, right, let's go to Donnelly and Adams and Daniels. All propulsion systems are running optimal. Commander. Nothing to say? I don't think Adams has anything to say. I'll leave him. Uh, okay, let's go back to the lift. We'll see, I think it's James, Garrus, Caden, Liara, I think, on the crew deck. They're in the mess hall last time I looked, James and um are you sure Garrus. You wanna play this game? Where are they? What's the matter, Vicari? Oh, yeah. like chicken? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Though I've heard everything in the galaxy tastes like it. But if you're suggesting Doesn't know what chicken scares, is game on Vega. Age before wisdom. Okay. Back in my C-Sec days, I busted a Batarian spy ring that was trying to assassinate a counselor. Please, I fought up a dozen angry Batarians on Omega single-handedly. Used one of them <laughs> as a landing pad off a three-story jump. <laughs> Just warming up, seeing what you had. Now, I tracked down this guy, Saren. Stopped him from raising a Geth army and unleashing the Reapers three years ago. That's with me, yeah. Doesn't count. You did that with Shepard. Yeah, true. Right. I was the Shepard from the very beginning. All right, you both... just means you're old. <laughs> Battling for my love? No, I'm joking. <laughs> hey, Commander. Hi. What are you two chatting about? I'm glad Jacob saw through the elusive man. At least not everyone in Cerberus has lost their mind. This fight can use him. Don't mind us. Just telling James here what it means to be a real soldier. All right, all right. Jesus. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, Chakra, has anything to say? It would help all involved if you could barter a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel refugees. Speak to Tactus. You should be. Able yeah, we already to have that quest. Advice. Okay. Uh, is Liara? Yeah, Caden's in the crew quarters. Liara's here. Still think you can win this? Oh, huh? are they still speaking? I can do this all day, Scars. Scars. <laughs> Funny you mention those. Ever hear the name Archangel? I might have. You know you have. I'm Archangel. Maybe I heard something about that, too. He already knows. Then maybe you also heard that for a couple months there, the crime rate on Omega mysteriously dropped while Archangel did a little house cleaning. <laughs> so you ran a cleaning service on Omega. Back on Fell Prime, I uncovered a pair of harvesters. I had to kill them by myself. To Worm Next, that's almost impressive. 
Oh, that's not even the best part. They left behind an egg. It hatched, and I trained it to let me fly it. <laughs> the Alliance teach you to make up crap like that, or did you figure it out all by Is yourself? it the truth? It's a gif. <laughs> not the truth. I do like their conversations. I find using my biotics to toss someone across the room oh, hello. a decent attention grabber. Yes, but it's also a good way to draw enemy fire. True. You can handle yourself in a fight now, Lyra. I mean, not that your biotics weren't impressive the first time we met. I have had my fair share of opportunities to use them these past few years. Uh, well, I'm glad you got through in one piece. Sounds like you have a few stories to tell. Probably does. It's good to see you. Yeah. Oh, email from Jacob. Uh, Jacob Taylor to Dr. Bryn Cole. I miss you, Bryn. Oh, that was his uh, partner, wasn't it? But I'm glad you're back there. The fighting's going to get tough when we push out with the Crucible. I've gotten the cold shoulder from people who know I used to work for Cerberus. Can't say I blame them, especially after what happened on the Citadel. I've been able to teach other soldiers how Cerberus fights, though. They may be wearing new equipment, but I know their tactics. I love you, Bryn. Take care of yourself. I'm glad Jacob's found someone. Um, hope nothing happens to her. I'd be a bit awkward. But... Like I said, I don't mind, Jacob. Been through a lot, scars. Oh, <laughs> talking again. <laughs> nah, I got more. Just don't like to talk about it. Fair enough. We've all got one of those. At least you know where to draw the line. Uh, yeah, not every story has a happy ending. Except there was this one time I teamed up with a Turian named Garrus Vakarian. He was pretty good with a gun, but he thought he was some kind of hotshot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I knew this wise-ass marine named Jimmy Vega. Jimmy. Felt like a pole dancer on Omega. <laughs> It does. Nerves. But the kid was all right. Had guts when it counted. I wonder how old James is meant to be. The genophage. And stop Cerberus from taking over the Citadel. And finally kick the Reapers from Well, I kind of... Garrus didn't do that, technically, With because... A little help from their I have actually taken James out nah, more than Garrus. <laughs> but... Mostly me. It kind of was mostly James, if I'm being honest. Who the hell... Hi. Hello. Okay. I'm just standing behind me. Give me a fright. Right, crew quarters. I think we just have Caden to chat to and then we can go to the Citadel. Anything to say about uh, Jacob? You don't know Jacob really, so probably not. I should get back to this report. I'll catch you yeah. later, Shepard. Fair enough. Seems to be the only people who have anything to say about him are the people that knew him. Um, all right. Well, let's go back to the information center. Something about possibly meeting you on the Citadel next time you're there. Yep, yeah, heard that about three times now. I think that's a cue to say I need to go to the Citadel. Let's leave orbit. Um, we'll head back out. Citadel, here we are. Let us dock. Um, oh, that's Anderson's apartment, isn't it? Uh, I won't go there yet. I think I'll just go to the docks. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I think we'll go... Um, we'll go to the embassies first, just to look at the Spectre office, because I will forget if I don't do that. And I think Javik might be there, maybe? Not sure. I need to get to the embassies. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. Do I... Am I at the docks then? Did they bring me out? Oh, I am in the embassies. I thought they brought me out in the docks. Ah, there are a lot of people here and a lot of guards, which, like I say, makes sense and is needed. Okay, oh, so we have Commander Bailey, Miranda and Javik. Right, and then we have Jacob, okay, in the patient lounge and the doctor examination rooms. Joker and Cortez. Oh, I'm surprised Edie isn't there. And Aria in Purgatory. Wasn't Jack there? Did we miss out on that? 
Maybe. Maybe I should have come here before doing the other quest, but... Oh, well. Caden, C-Sec Officer, Officer Knowles, Liara, Tactus and James. Cool, okay. Only Jack missing. Look, I, filled out all the forms you requested and every hoop. I could have sworn Jack did invite us here. Sorry, I thought those two were talking. <laughs> These things are very complicated and usually take a very long time. It's even worse with everything going on right now. I'm very sorry. If you can't accept a fostering by proxy until her file is processed, there's nothing more I can do. Right, okay. Let's go to the Spectre office. Medical supplies. Uh, medical supplies originally meant for occupied zones have been rerouted to the Citadel because the Reaper's invasion has made delivery impossible. The supplies are currently in lockdown on the docks but can be released to the Weta Memorial Hospital under Spectre Authority. We'll authorize. And Volus Ambassador Din Korlak's current location is unknown. Biometric analysis does not detect him in any public location at this time. His last known position was an office suite near the Human Embassy. Interesting. Okay. War asset updated. Good to see you're all Oh, hi, Miranda. Miranda. Didn't expect you What's here. Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah. With Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard still Does alive. Does she know him? He's alive. And right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Definitely you should. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor. Maybe more that my father is working on something for the elusive man. God, I guess worse. Something big. Um. Ties to Cerberus? Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history. Ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. God. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. Uh, no, he has to be stopped. I can't. No, he does have to be stopped. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but I need to do this myself. Okay, fair it's enough. Time I stopped running from him. You're sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. No. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> Well, that's Miranda's message done. So, just Bailey, Javik, and Guard here now. Um. Ah, heating stabilizers. I needed these, didn't I? Who's with? The, who are these for? Presidium Commons. Okay. That's good. I've got those. Um, should we have a chat with Bailey just to see if he has anything else to say? Do a quick save as well. Uh, so many pieces to put back together since the Cerberus attack. We're reeling from the implications. Udina in league with Cerberus trying to murder the council. These are dark days for all of us. Um, 
Well, yeah, good luck, Bailey. You got your work cut out for you. <laughs> you certainly you do. You and me both, Shepard. All right. Um, we'll have a chat with Javik. Where is Javik? Is he in this area? Jesus Christ, just walked into him. <laughs> I think that's Javik. Surprised he's not got more audience. He is a Prothean. People don't seem to be reacting like I thought they would. Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hit here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It's a victory. It's only a start. It's only a start. Unless we win this war, it'll be the last time any of us see the citadel. Yeah. Focus in while you can, Javik. Do not be so dismissive, Commander. <laughs> <laughs> Someday the things you have lost will be the things you would kill to have back. Such as? Order. The rule of law. From here, our empire dictated the course of the galaxy. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, yeah. but it's kept the peace. Most I did the kill the last council, so perhaps less of a share now, but... Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. Oh, interesting. Hey, Hannah. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an Enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. Ah, uh -huh. oh yeah. Teach them to speak better. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're really a Prothean? Okay, now people are taking notice. But if you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many, there may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being among the living are remote. If you are lucky, I didn't they interrupt will that. You, outright. you will avoid the fate of becoming a bit too paragon for me. If you cannot fight. Do not let them capture you. Death is a better outcome. Ooh, okay. It's over. We'll never win this. Perhaps not the most inspirational speech. That was terrible. Uh, at least you're honest. Won't win any new recruits, but at least they know what they're in for. It is better to fight with your eyes open than your heart. I agree. Is that the Prothean way of war? It is the way of life. I will meet you. You have many eyes to be open. <laughs> Sorry, poor joke. Well, nice to see um, Javik here. I'm just looking for the office suite. There's a guard here. Do I need to speak to you? Was the Bolas ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. Okay, I won't do that just yet then. I will come back and do that. Um, I think we... Where are we going to go? I really kind of want to see Caden. <laughs> so we do need to go to the commons as well to do that um, thing we've just bought. So I think it's best to go to the Presidium commons. Talk to Caden, Liara. Please select a destination. I guess we can't get to... Of interest to you are highlighted on the elevator menu. his apartments from here not that I need to do that yet but Anderson's One moment, please. now arriving at Presidium Commons okay um one sec yes yeah, so we do have people to speak to was Anderson's apartments I was told that um That was part of the Citadel DLC. I'm not sure. Anderson had something to do with it. I just, I did ask a bit ago, like, what was DLC? Um, I had a brief look when I was doing Mass Effect 2. Didn't spoil anything just to see what was normal content and what was DLC. Does this have some, let me know if I should be doing this now. Um, 
bring this Normandy to the Citadel. I'm not sure when to do that, so maybe after I've uploaded this episode, just let me know if there's a correct time to do it. Right, let's... Oh god. Ah, oh, Jacob. Have to go see him as well. Oh, <laughs> not Jacob. I, th I thought they meant Jacob then. A badly, because he's Cerberus, so a badly wounded, or was, Batarian may actually be a terrorist. Find him in the refugee camp and investigate. Okay. Well, um... Map updated. Okay, something else. God, I've gotten so many quests. A CSEC officer needs to target jamming technology to save lives during future attacks. Find the technology and bring it back to him on the Presidium Commons. And apparently our map has also been updated. Um... Not entirely sure. Have a look later. Just gonna have a look here where everyone is actually. Um oh Caden is literally right here in the cafe, so I might as well see him first. And then we have some things to hand in. Where is he? First we'll do this. I doubt the reefers have agents doing business in my cafe. We're trying to protect you. Hell of a job you do. See those scorch marks? Cerberus killed one of my servers right there. Where were you? Hey, I lost friends too. If you care about finding the Cerberus informants who made it happen, you'll give me the bid. I'm going to support the officer. We're at war. If you care about the Citadel, get. you'll help CSEC however you can. Thank you, Commander. I have some high profile customers. If word gets out that I'm ratting them out to CSEC, you think I care about insider trading and electronic smuggling right now? I'm after the bastards who attacked the city. Nobody else. You've got my attention. All right. Just... Good way to resolve it. Right. Who are they at? Is he on about Caden? He's the second human specter. What are you holding? No drink. <laughs> he's, he's just got his hand up. <laughs> What are you holding there? Right, let's have a chat with Caden. Surprise this place can still get surprised or a date? for a menu like this. Maybe it's better if we don't ask how or where. I'm glad we're taking the time to do this. I could use a sanity check. Things have been pretty crazy. You know, my life flashed in front of my eyes on Mars. M music. And there weren't enough moments like this with people I care about. What's going on with you? We need to talk. Glad we're getting to talk. What's going on with you? How are you feeling these days? Feeling up to whatever the Reapers throw at me. And grateful that I convinced you to sit down for half a second and relax. Yeah, I'm glad we're getting to talk. We need to talk? No, I'm glad we're getting to talk. Yeah. I think it's a good time for us to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. It is. What are you drinking? <laughs> if you're trying to butter me up, it... Might take a nice steak sandwich, too. <laughs> so, shot of whiskey and a good old Canadian lager. Probably Can not. But... <laughs> More likely to have Batarian shard wine. Yeah. At my parents' place in Vancouver, <laughs> drank more than a few beers on their balcony looking over English Bay. Yeah. I love his music. Beautiful view. You know what, though? I feel good about our chances. Yeah? Yeah. Lets me sleep better at night. You're not sleeping, Caden? Maybe a little restless. We all are. It's just, you plan a career, you focus, and then suddenly the world's ending and it's too late to, uh, to find someone. Oh. Someone? We've been friends a long time, Shepard. Have you ever known me to be with anyone? No. I guess I'm just choosy <laughs> or patient or... I don't know. Maybe what I've never found and what I want is... Something deeper with someone that I already... Is that someone me? 
care about. <sighs> That's what I want. What do you want? Pretty clear what I want, to be honest. <laughs> My shepherd in the first game, he was practically head over heels for him. He was clearly unavailable then. Second game, a bit frosty, went our separate ways. Third game, it's like I'm back to the first again. <laughs> he's, he's obsessed with him again. Not obsessed, that's the wrong word, but I think he... I think he does love him, so... I'm definitely not gonna let's just keep it friendly. Um, all of you who've been watching my playthrough <laughs> know how much I like Kid and how much I wanted to romance him. Um, wasn't an option in Mass Effect 1. Option here, I'm definitely gonna go for it. So, yeah, I think I want that too. You and me? Is that what you're saying, Caden? It feels right, doesn't it? It does. Finally. Um, <laughs> I misunderstood, no. I like that. Oh, I love this scene. It's my favourite scene so far. Be nice to have someone to turn to when things get grim. <laughs> someone to live for. Something to hold on to Maybe as well. <laughs> someone? You, Caden. <laughs> Oh, I love this. It does. It does feel right. After all this time. <laughs> you and me. I like that. A lot. And that... makes me so happy. And there are benefits to that happiness. Yeah? <laughs> really? Yes. Really. What'd you call it? Uh, sanity check? Mm. Sanity check. <laughs> oh, he's gone now. Oh my god, I've got one! Establish a romantic relationship in Mass Effect 1, 2, or 3. Achievement, Paramore 1. So I'm in it. This is it now. I'm so happy that this has finally happened. Like I say, how long have I been waiting for this? Um, and it was a good place to happen. Like, Caden's just come back. Um, finally trusted Shepard, especially after the Citadel incident, and they've just, like, caught up afterwards. Um, I think it's a good place, both in terms of storyline and just how my character is now to start something. I don't think in Mass Effect 1, it might not have been, um, might not have been ready. I don't know. A different vibe in Mass Effect 1, both for my Shepard and for Caden himself. I feel like we've both grown as people. So, yeah, um... So glad it's it's a thing now. Oh, yay. Hopefully you get some more scenes in the future because I love uh, Bioware romances. If it's anything like um, the Dragon Age romances, it's going to be something I really like. Even if it's just that scene, it was really, really pretty and well done. So, yeah, I'm glad for that. So I have a parable. <laughs> oh, that's good. Kind of don't want to talk to anyone else now. No, I'm joking. We'll continue on here. I'm guessing Caden's gone forever now. <laughs> I assume he'll come back at some point to the Citadel, but we have an achievement, so that's good. We'll speak to Liara on here and just hand in everything else. After that little date, didn't ever get didn't get him sandwich. I'll have to find a steak sandwich somewhere. Did I sell them? <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad for that and for Shepard. He will it last as in I think they will last as people, but will we die before Well, will the world be destroyed? Possibly, but I think we've got to take it while we can and care for someone while we can. That's why I like Edie and Joker and people like that as well. It's we need someone other than ourselves at the moment just to pull us all through this and I'm glad that my shepherd's got Caden now. Anyway, enough of me waffling. What is this? That's this guy. Think of how much it could have helped us understand. A researcher needs the Oblisk of Kaza to help with the Crucible project, recover it from the Hades Nexus and deliver it to him in the Presidium Commons. We'll do that at some point, another thing to deliver.
Right, um... Let's just head down. Anything in here? Nah, nothing really to buy. Nothing to buy either. Selling weapons to everyone on the Citadel. CSEC will shut this whole place down. CSEC couldn't protect us when Cerberus attacked. I'll take him to court. You think a court is going to want more people running with guns right now? And then I'll go to the wards and sell from the back room at Purgatory. People are already scared. If you violate weapons laws, they'll just be scared and trigger happy. Um. I was listening to the news then in the background, <laughs> so I, I was paying attention, but I wasn't really paying attention then. I was listening to the news commentary. True support angry, because my... Oh, worried. Nah, my shepherd's an angry person. Let's support angry. We're at war. If the Citadel gets attacked again, everybody needs to fight. Renegade. Sounds good. <laughs> the commander's right. It's not like those Reaper things care about hurting civilians. But selling weapons to just anyone makes it easier for groups like Cerberus to get a hold of them. Uh, I think everyone needs a weapon nowadays. Yeah, I think Cerberus have their own weapons, to be honest. Just be careful. That was solved. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Remember, all purchases made by Agor Munitions. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. Thank you for shopping at Super Team Armory. Okay, that's done. Oh, hi Liara. Here you are. You sure you don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring. Getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. Kids are kind of cute. Ki uh, kids do dumb things. <laughs> I'm gonna be mean again. We all do stupid things as kids. There's no denying that, but in a way, I was lucky. My mother scolded me, but she also bought me my first history book the next day. I miss her, Shepard. Tell me more about her. Oh yeah, it's Matriarch, wasn't it? Venezia, the. Um, I'll tell me more about her. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just. Friends. Yes, friends. Uh, let's keep it professional. I'd like that a lot. Hopefully it, it recognises that I'm with Caden now, so... Let's go with I'd like that a lot. I have known Liara in a while, so I do want to be friends with her, even though I'm not the biggest fan of her. Um, so I'm hoping this doesn't trigger anything, because she did say just friends. And hopefully we are friends now. Friends exclusively, nothing else. So yeah. It'd be nice. And who knows? Maybe you'll settle down after this. You don't really see me going into civilian life, do you? No. But I guess that's one more reason you should keep in touch. Someone to share a few secrets with now and then? You got it. <laughs> now she's my Bezzy. <laughs> We've turned from not liking her. To stop flirting with me, now best friend. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello, Shepard. Hi, Liara. That was a nice conversation. Um, I looked there. Don't know why I did that again. So we have... Officer Knowles is still in where... The CSEC offices. Oh, I hear Caden on the radio. 
That's who it was about me and Caden, yeah. Because he is the second human shepherd. Commander Shepherd, do you have a minute? Yeah, sure. Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems, power, communications. It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. it looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Okay. Sorry, and code, so I need to go back to the office. CSEC Officer Jordan Knowles um, has requested assistance tracking illegal use of Batarian diplomatic code codes. Consult the Spectre terminal and then locate access points on the Citadel. Will do. I've just realized we have a codex. Admiral Stephen Jacob. Tra Jacob Taylor is a human biotic and was once a Cerberus operative working under Miranda Lawson. Born in 2157, he began his career as a Systems Alliance Marine and served as a member of the Corsairs, an arm's length program for operatives working outside of Alliance jurisdiction. Taylor survived the Geth attack on Eden Prime, but left the Alliance afterwards because of what he perceived as unresponsiveness in the face of aggression. While working for Cerberus, Taylor thwarted a plot by Batarian terrorists to unleash a bioweapon on the Citadel. Soon after, he was assigned to Project Lazarus, the Cerberus effort to reconstruct Commander Shepard and the Normandy stealth frigate. Following the project's completion, Taylor accompanied Shepard through the Omega-4 relay to destroy the Collectors. He survived that mission and has since left Cerberus, although his current whereabouts and affiliations are unknown. Well, at least he's left Cerberus now. Good on him. Right, there's something else I needed to hand in here. Salia in the courtyard. This person. <laughs> I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Maybe these heating stabilizer schematics could help. Ah, yeah, that's what I needed. This is amazing. The colonists, my sister, will be most pleased. Thank you. I am in your debt. You are welcome. Anything else? The clutch is stabilized? Really? That is wonderful news, my sister. You wish to name the first hatch after the one who helped us? I think that's a wonderful idea. What? Well, after Shepard? Elijah? Okay. So that one's done. The heat. Yeah, heat unit stabilizers. Had that in my thing for a while, so that's good. Okay. We should probably go to the Batarian. Um, I think we finished here. So we've been to the CSEC officer. We've talked to Caden. Well, we're now dating Caden. Um, yeah, I think we might head... Should we head to the hospital? Perhaps check up on Jacob and... Um, in the examination room. Might be the best. I just don't understand why you're suddenly so conflicted. Look, the asshole's in custody now. Killing him won't bring anyone back. It's about justice. The man is a traitor and a murderer. You saw what he did to your wife, to my husband. And didn't bat an eyelash. He's evil, there's no doubt. Who is this? What's going on here? I'm in position at CSEC. Draw them away and I'll move in and make the kill. Don't answer that. What is this? Citizens on the Citadel are preparing to carry out some sort of assassination at the CSEC office in the Presidium Commons. Go there and look for suspicious activity. Okay, well we'll go back there then. We we're gonna leave, but we'll investigate. Look at Palvin, my friend. We're in hell. He should be looking for terrorists. The rest can take care of itself. So the bar fights, the drunken disorderlies down by that purgatory place? How does cracking down on that crap help us win the war? People need to blow up steam right now. And how does letting the misdemeanors go help the war? Less time spent on the light stuff means the Citadel has more money for defense. Yeah, I'll support Angry again, to be honest. Patient isn't really what we need right now. 
Everyone on the Citadel knows we're at war now. Cerberus caught C-Sec by surprise last time. You need to make sure that never happens again. That's what I'm saying. Forget the small stuff. Support defense and security and take down anyone who threatens the peace. You make it sound like we're under martial law. After a coup attempt during wartime, maybe we should be. Yeah. Fair enough. Maybe you're right. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> I'm always right. Okay, let's investigate here. Commander Captain Shepard. Summers? Guess I know what happened to my backup. Excuse me? Come on. I'm in C-Sec in civilian gear with a weapon. I know what I'm made. Just let me explain. Captain Aaron Summers, Alliance Marines, retired. Captain Summers? There's a prisoner here. C-Sec officer who helped Cerberus. C-Sec caught him when you stopped the coup. Now he's offering them intel on Cerberus to get a better deal. Why are you telling me this? Because he doesn't deserve a better deal. He killed people during the coup, good people. And he's former Alliance, like us. The way I figure it, he's our problem to fix. You're better than that, let me do it legally. Now let me do it legally. Officer, I'm Commander Shepard. You have a prisoner here, a Cerberus informant? I'm invoking Spectre Authority to take charge of him. Do what you have to do. Thank you, Commander. Okay. Is that done? Yeah, citizens on Sigil are preparing to carry out some sort of assassination at the CSEC office in prison comes. Go there and look for suspicious activity. Okay, well, that's done. Used my intimidation technique there. You two have anything else to say? Guess not. <laughs> um, Another Cerberus trap? Bomb or turret? How many this time? Gosh, how many quests are here? You've done a full sweep. We need a way to find their tech and shut it off safely. No, the crime still doesn't have anything. The tech they got off the bodies of a few Cerberus engineers self-destructed when they took it apart. Not much we can do, except pick up the pieces after another turret guns down on Mom and her kids. These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. Uh, ah, that's what I had. Damn right they will. I'll have E-Crimes dig into them. Might even help us find the little present Cerberus left for us. Thanks a lot. This is going to save lives. That's what I got from the scientist place, I guess. Keep going on Codex. Um... Yeah, I guess that's what I found, I think. <laughs> so many quests, I'm completely forgetting what's for what. Um, guess we're done there, though. Ooh. Found another one. Yeah, the guys in Zakara did too. Disarmed there safely. No casualties. Nice work. Right. Um, let's go here no, the is there a lift can fight on the toxic world so they need support well ideally something like a cacliosaur they're good in mountains immune to toxins ferociously loyal to their riders yes they'd be ideal oh my god another quest during the Rachni war so unless we can engineer something new Krogan on toxic worlds will have to fight on foot without support um Kalosaur fossil a Salarian scientist needs a preserved Kalosaur specimen to help the Krogan fight on toxic worlds. Find one and return it to him in the Presidium Commons. How many Citadel quests do I have to do? Jesus Christ. It's like the hinterlands in, <laughs> in Dragon Age. I'm just checking if there's anything up here. I don't think so. No, let's go down to the lift. I thought the lift was up here, but I was wrong. Okay, this is the Batarian then. 
killed both humans and Batarians. He bombed his own people? Why? He was part of a terror cell. Picked crowded places. Voya, Omega. Doesn't matter to these asshole fanatics who gets blown up. Did I go up here? I think I did, but I just want to make sure. Maybe not. <laughs> But just think, if those statues had something that could help us, even today. Um, Athena Nebula, her Hesperia period statue. Um, and Asari in the Presidium Commons needs a statue from the Hesperia period to help with crucible research. Find one in the Athena Nebula and deliver it to her. Will do. It's my money and I'm closing my account. Your account? Citadel defense. If you shut it down and hide the money under your bed, it hurts the war effort. And if Cerberus attacks again and takes the Citadel, my money is gone. I'll take my chances on my own. Thank you. So you're fleeing the Citadel? Running to Sanctuary? If you trust the Council, you'll stay here. Why should I trust them? They couldn't stop Cerberus. What could they possibly do about the Reapers? Nothing if you take your money and hide. Have you seen Palavin or Earth? You can't escape this war. At least here you've got the Council fighting for you. But to fight, they need money. Money this bank has loaned them using accounts like yours. Okay. Okay, damn it. Leave the account open. <laughs> Besides, how can some place like Sanctuary promise more safety than the Citadel? You're right. Guess all we can do is hope for the best. Yes, we can. Just checking my oh my god my reputation's almost to the top now <laughs> god i feel like i've got a lot to go as well so all right we're gonna go to the hospital recognized please select a destination one moment please yeah let's go to the hospital now arriving at Huerta memorial hospital Guards look all the injured. So I'm in the shower with hot water. Want to listen to this again? And that's when Neyra came. Neyra was another huntress on your ship. Yeah, a friend. I I wanted it to be more than that, but she had a, a medical condition. It's okay. It's in the file. The farm girl calls in to me that another Asari is here. I thought the shuttle had gotten back early. I come out in the towel and. And Neyra walks through the door, but it wasn't her. Not anymore. Damn. This is a very interesting story. Hmm. There's no Thane anymore sat there. It's really upsetting. Welcome to Serta. Thank you for shopping. Hi, Jacob. Hey, Shepard. I'm glad to see you. I know things are crazy right now. Exactly. So you have to take the moments when you can. Um. Progress? How is Dr. Cole? How are you, Progress? Uh, it's not been long, but I'll ask. What's going on with the Crucible? That project is crazy. Freaking huge. And all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out. I wish you could see them. Heads down, piecing it together. It's something to see. We'll get this crucible built, Shepard. And then we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, sure, I feel it. And I'm counting on you and everyone there. Get it done. Believe it. Uh, how is Dr. Cole? It was interesting to meet Bryn. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good to see her work without the distraction of having to worry about the colony. And you and her? We're... 
We're having a baby. Oh, shit. wow. Wow. Congratulations. Wasn't exactly planned, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to be a better father than mine was. Do the whole thing right. It's, uh... <laughs> One more thing to fight for. You got that right. Bryn wants to name it after you. Oh, God, Elijah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and Shepherd. Obviously, they Shepherd. don't know my first name. That's nice. Not the best name for a yeah. child. <laughs> I'm going to talk her out of it. No offense. Yeah, no offense taken. None taken. Not the best name. Good. <laughs> my first name's all right, but obviously these characters, you, you can't tell my first name. Um, Shepherd. Uh, could be a middle name, maybe. Uh, how are you? So what's going I'm on so with glad you? he's having a kid. Still like what you're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy? Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> but no. So, you working on the Crucible? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm smart. But not that smart. Hackett keeps me busy, though. How's he doing? Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. <laughs> well... I should go. I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. Gotta take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. You too. I do, like I say, I'm happy for Jacob that he's having a child. I'm just going in here to see if there's any quests. Um, yeah, I am happy for him. It sounds like he's found happiness. Like I said with when I finished um, my date with Caden, it's like it's about finding that person and that life while you can, because it might not last, last much longer. And if you can make happiness now, then it's definitely a good thing. Oh, okay. Quest. During the attack on the Citadel. We can't identify the toxin. We're barely keeping him alive right now. It's some form of neurotoxin. If you could look at our charts... Of course, I understand. Even a general is just one man. Good luck. Doctor? I overheard what you said. I found this at a Cerberus station. A poison tailored to Turians. Let me see. Yes, I think this is it. This is what I found at the Cerberus station. Be able to come up with an antidote. Thank you. The general might pull through because of this. It's good. Yes, General Corellius should make a full recovery. He's already awake and responsive. Okay. That's all done. Slowly getting there with the quests. Anything else in here? Mm, kind of done everything. I'm gonna get out of here because it's quite sad being in this area when Fane didn't make it. Right, I think I'll head to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the docks, um, clear up some things on the docks. I think Garrus is there, and then I think I might head back on the Normandy. Um have another round of things there then maybe do some on the galaxy map and come back to the citadel to do the rest of the areas um so i think we'll just do the docking bay for now hang on who who is in the docking bay it's the docks holding area just garris okay We'll have a chat with Garrus. Now arriving at docking bay D24. Speaking of, here he is. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting reapers. Uh, like alcohol? Everything involves them like alcohol? I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive... I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. What's your idea? Going on a little ride? Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. 
Oh, naughty. <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time. That's a good sentence for me to say. I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations. 137, that's very specific. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. You won't get in when trouble for it when you're with me as well. A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? <laughs> you obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. You're right. Good to know. I just have to save your ass again. It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? And it shows in your face. <laughs> I'm so tempted to say that, but that is not today. Um... <laughs> oh, do no, I won't. You're a good friend, but I am tempted to say that. No, you're a good friend. I do want to, because it's my first playthrough, I do want to see all the friendship. Like, I like being a mean person to people who aren't my friends, but being mean to Garrus, I just don't feel like doing that. At least with the shepherd right now. Times like these, He's you know mean to everyone but their friends, but his friends. They're not the ones running around looking for an escape route. They're the ones who stand at your side through the worst of it. Who never give up on you. I'm lucky I can say I know someone like that. This is a bit cheesy. So am I. <laughs> You're not going to propose marriage now, are you? I'm taken. <laughs> now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. Probably there you. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. <laughs> yeah, I can't dance. All right, Vicarian, you're going down. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. <laughs> that was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. They can be blink quite a lot. Step aside. I'm shooting target. I'm not missing on purpose. I'm not that much of a wimp. I'm not missing on purpose. Shoot target. Do it. Nobody alive, maybe. But technically, I died. Yeah, well, next time we'll throw in a herd of rampaging clicks, and that's how you separate the rookies from the pros. <laughs> how am I standing? <laughs> that was a good little scene with... Let's say Grunt, then, with Garrus. It is. Is... Yeah, he's no longer on here. Okay. Have you discovered a way to run FTL spaceships without an ESO core, Private to love? Oh, I'm being pushed. No, then consider this a serious assignment. Intel's expecting a Cerberus raid. Cerberus? Cerberus? They're a problem? I thought we were fighting Reapers, ma'am. Give it a week. You could be. <laughs> Cerberus or the Reapers doesn't really matter. Anyone got any quests down here? I keep thinking this guy's Udina for some reason. I think it's the outfit, but he's long dead. That couple's now gone from here as well. All right, we'll head back on the Normandy just for now. Um, just to check how everything is. Do you have anything to say? Commander? Not really.
get nothing there. Just gonna check my war assets. Commander Shepard. Um, defense force. Assume this has just been updated. Schematics of advanced biotic amplifiers from Grissom Academy. I think that's the first one I got. Ah, it's updating the other way. Warning people on the Citadel to prepare for the war has improved uh, civilian readiness. Commander Shepard restored duty pay to spouses. Yeah, okay, done that one. And Turian, the Sixth Fleet. The Turian Navy has the most uh, dreadnoughts of any known species in the Milky Way. The Turian hierarchy limited production of these ships only because the Treaty of Phyraxian or Phyraxian um, strictly controls the number of dreadnoughts due to their destructive capabilities. The Turian Sixth Fleet is technically classified as a peacekeeping fleet. Before the Reapers, it was chiefly used to patrol the space around the Citadel. Now it's ready to fly uh, to areas trying to fight off the invasion. I think I've read that. Commander Shepard recovered a neurotoxin formula from a Cerberus lab, using it to make an antidote for a poisoned Turian general. Very nice. 3,777 is not bad, to be honest. Uh, I think I'll do a quick... I'll just have a quick chat with Caden since we are with him now. <laughs> Still can't believe that. I'm so glad we're together. Um, just to check if he has anything to say now that our romance is activated. Activated? That sounds a bit <laughs> tutorial-like. Is now a thing. Um, Where is he? Is he still in the crew deck? Uh, crew quarters, yeah. Anything to say after all of that together? I should get back to this report. I'll no. catch you later, Shepard. Fair enough. Should probably head back out. Wrong way, need the lift. Okay, so I'm going to end this episode here. Next time we're going to head back on the Citadel. I'll just do a little more um, maybe map exploring. We'll see and talk to everyone else on the Citadel. Needed to come back to Normandy for a little sleep. <laughs> um, so, so glad we've, like I say, got together with Caden now. I'm so glad it's an official thing. Uh, like I say, got the achievement for it. So, yeah, it's it, it, my shepherd's been waiting for three games for him. So... I'm glad they're finally a thing. Whatever the outcome of this, I'm glad it's... The romance is happening. Um, and I think they're really good for each other. Two human spectres. I think it's I think it's a good combination. And yeah, we had that good scene with Garrus as well. And Liara, some, some good scenes. So yeah, we'll talk to everyone else next episode. Go back to the Citadel and I think do some more side quests on the galaxy map. Uh, but yeah, be sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.